Yo, what is up? Yo, Toe! UFC 145 all goes down. It's going down. April the 21st in Atlanta, Georgia, in the Phillips Arena. Now, just before I get into this, listen to this clip. Hey, John! John! John Jones! John Jones! God damn it! John! Go check on him! Go check on him! Go check on Leodo! Get some fans! Yeah, what well, an idiot. Greg Jackson don't give a fuck about no one. He just gives a shit about him and his stupid pussy camp to be the number one camp in the world, you know, and get all of these decisions, you know, running away, Carlos Conduct, you know, always running away. All of their camp is full of pussies, man, always running and shit. Anyways, John Jones versus Rashad Evans, and this is a big grudge match. Now, um, John Jones, he recently fought Leo Machida. He beat him by guillotine. Second round, and he beat Rampage Jackson by Rhea Naked Choke in the fourth round. He defended it twice against them, and he beat Mauricio Shogun Hua by TKO in the third round. Now, um, Rashad Evans recently fought Phil Davis by decision. He beat him by wrestling. He beat TDLT by TKO to the knees, he kneed him to the stomach and Tio just quit. And he beat Rampage by decision and Tiago Silva by decision. Now, um, Rashad Evans, he's a good wrestler. I mean, he could take it down, man, no problem, man. He'll take it down. John Jones wouldn't be able to defend it. And he's just gonna lay on him and I hope he lays on him and grounds and pounds. John Jones' face. Come on, man. John Jones is just fucking fake. Every time he's just talking shit about the time they're at the club or something, and then he keeps on changing his stories. I mean, watching him, watch him in his interviews, man. He's getting all anal and butt hurt, and he's going all red. I never seen a black man go red in my life. And he's like, "Rashad, well, you don't know. You don't know that I know that you know." Man, shut the fuck up. And he's Rashad. He's very fast, man. He's very fast. He has the athletic ability to kick John Jones' ass. But another thing is Rashad. He has um, he has a weak chin, man. He's always getting rocked. And I think John Jones. He has enough power to knock him out. And yeah. And John Jones. He's got um, he's got a long reach. He's a good wrestler. And he's got good submissions, you know, he's got the guillotine, all this shit. And he's unorthodox. And he's a professional runner, man. He's always running away, just like he ran away from Quentin Jackson. And he's gonna run away from Richard Evans. The bitch! Anyways, if Richard Evans wants to win this fight, simply don't watch John Jones doing all this spinning shit, all this spinning whatever, all this bullshit. Don't watch him, stay up close to him, hit him with a one tool, take him down, ground and pound 101. Old school style, just like Tito Ortiz. Now I'm picking Rashad Evans to win this fight by decision. Just because John Jones, he's a bitch man, he's a fake, he's a fake faggot man. And why is the UFC promoting him to be like the, the Muhammad Ali of MMA or something man? Get the fuck out of there John Jones man. Come on, he's acting like, he's acting like, um, he's fucking Anderson Silva or something, come on. Everyone gets, um, beaten at one time, Fado got beaten, Machida got beaten, Shogun got beaten. Everybody gets beaten, and this guy, he thinks he's, thinks he's the best. I mean, come on, get real, bro. You do have skills, you do have the athletic ability, and, um... Hey, let me know in the comments below if you think John Jones fucked over Rashad Evans. I think he was training with him the whole time just to beat him. He wasn't his friend, he was his two-faced. And if you watch the interviews and um, the press conference call for UFC 145, you catch John Jones lying again and Rashad just laughs in his face, man. That is funny. I'll post the link down below. And all of the fight build up and everything. And um, he done another interview. Um, I forgot who it was, but they asked him, um, "Would you fight Anderson Silva?" And he goes, "No, no, no, no." 
I see I see Anderson Silva as a mentor. Um, no, I wouldn't fight him. Yeah, you see him as a mentor, so you're gonna know his game plan and then you'll fight him because you're a bitch, right? Yeah, punk ass. Anyways, Rashad. I'm picking Rashad Evans for this fight, man. Hopefully, he's gonna knock him out. But I think, um, you know, decision. Yeah. Next fight, we got Ronald McDonald. Ronald McDonald against Chill Mills or something. Anyways. I think Roy McDonald's is too good for this for this dude, and he's just gonna knock him out first round. Next, next fight we got Brendan Shaw versus Ben Rothwell. Now Brendan Shaw got knocked out by um, Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira in Brazil in the first round. He beat Mercury Krokop by knockout in KO in the third round, and he beat um, Gabriel Gonzaga by decision. Now these guys are pretty good, man. They're legendary people. Right. Nogueira, Crow Club, and Gabriel Gonzaga. Now, Bren Ruffle, he lost against Martin Hunt by decision. He beat Gabriel Azul by decision, and he lost against Kate Velasquez. Now, Bren is sharp, he's fast, you know, he's got good footwork, and he's got decent knockout power, and Bren Ruffle has knockout power as well. He's got good ground and pound, and he's a decent wrestler. This fight, I'm going with Brendan Sharp by decision. Next fight, we got Miguel Torres versus Michael McDonald. Now, Miguel Torres, he recently beat Nick Pierce by decision, Demetrius Johnson by decision, um, Antonio Barreto Majetos Montaco Macabo by decision, beat Charles Valencia by submission rear naked choke. Now Miguel Torres, he's got good submissions, he's got good triangles, guillotines, rear naked choke, arm bars, he's got good stand up, he's overall a well rounded person and he's got pretty good good reach man, he's got a long reach. And it's Michael McDonald, I don't know shit about this guy, I think he recently came to the UFC, um, he fought twice, he beat Alex Satio, KO first round and he beat, got what? The fuck's his name? Chris Gallos? Gallos Manos? By a decision in the third round. And this guy has got knockout power and he's a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Despite I'm going with Miguel Torres by submission in the, in the second round. Next fight we got Mark Kamenik versus Eddie Yagen. Now, Mark Kamenik recently lost twice against Chong Sang Chong. It was like the fastest knockout in UFC. The second one is um, seven seconds, and he lost against Jose Aldo. Now um, these guys are top guys, and he just got caught, so that was you know, it was unfair. But yeah, he would have beaten him, but still, knockout to knockout. And it's Eddie dude, Yagin. I don't know who the hell he is, but I got Mark Kominick to win this fight. TKO second round. Next fight we got Mark. Boschek versus John Alessio and this John Alessio is just recently joining the UFC so this will be his debut I've got this guy winning by decision and that's my UFC 145 predictions you don't want to miss this the one of the biggest fights in UFC history John Jones versus Rashad Evans check out my channel and I'll see you guys on the next UFC fight card. Peace! Rashad Evans is the new UFC light heavyweight champion. Truth of the matter is, you did want to fight me, and we're fighting. That's just the bottom I line. I did want to fight you. You did want to fight me. You did want to fight me. Why would I want to fight you if I'm the champ? You want to fight no, me. No, you, because you can't be the champ unless you beat me. I already am the champ, Rashad. Uh, you, 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 I just, I just choked out the guy that the knocked you out. What are you, you got talking the belt. about? You got the belt, but you ain't the champ. You